Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part two of this year's Serie A jersey review and yeah I pulled out all the stops this is Sampdoria which is generally considered the best looking jersey in this video I have the jerseys of four of the five teams that are in there and yeah was a hard uh, you know I was going back and forth which one but in the end you gotta take Sampdoria uh, just and with the classic ERG sponsor, I'm sorry. It's the best, as simple as that. And there's a Kokari down there as well, so yeah. Uh, by the way, this is where Sampdoria Crest should traditionally be. Not here, just not. Okay, um, again, I chose the teams. You see the table in the video. Uh, I went to last year's table, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, to determine which videos. And now every team that has a number two will be in this video. Sampdoria is one of those, but it's not the first one because we're going alphabetically. What a concept, it's so boring. When <laughs> uh, we'll start with the newly promoted side, Benevento, which I'm actually quite curious what they will do. And yeah, I'm wearing some Sampdoria that they played Benevento. Um, not too long ago and lost at home to Benevento, so mm -hmm, the irony. Uh, Benevento's home jersey is by Kappa and I have to go a breakdown. Kappa does a lot of teams, Macron does a lot of teams in this league, so I want to know who who is winning. I, Without now having made the count, I would actually say probably Kappa at the moment. The Benevento, Benevento jerseys are about as classic as they get. Nice color, nice Thin striping in yellow and red. Absolutely like it. Nice crest. The witch is on there. My only problem is that the back is all red. And when you watch it in game, it's a completely different jersey from the front than it's on the back. And I don't understand why, because you can put a dark number or a white number. I think it is still legible, especially with the nicely newly outlined font. I do not understand that. Or make a box, as I showed you in part one with the Juve jersey, or I think even this Parma jersey. Does it have a box? Oh, it has a box. This is how you do it. Make a box. As simple as that. So I'm really uh, fed up with manufacturers just going for the easy plain back uh, European route. Although the new UEFA guidelines, read them. They want to have that is put in a box. And then some teams that are striped need to make uh, have half or two thirds plain back and then they add the stripes below it. <laughs> Do something for aesthetics. That is my main gripe with this jersey. Other than that, it's good as they come. Seven, I give this six or seven. Linian 7. Uh, uh, the away jersey is white, as I said, for Serie A teams, I expect white. Um, I'm not sure about these rays coming in the club's colors, but at least it is something interesting. But it makes the jersey interesting to look at, yes, but it doesn't make necessary for a cool jersey look. Nothing that I would give more than five stars. That's where I'm going. And the third jersey, uh, I don't un un understand. Is this, I mean, especially with the light here and the promo pick in the back, is this uh, Star Wars inspired or whatever? The colors have nothing, have absolutely nothing to do with the club's colors. You know, here it would be where you put a yellow jersey in there. Even if you put a black jersey in there um, and add a little bit yellow, yellow and red, is it but, uh, gray? or grayish blue and then light blue. I don't know who you want to appeal to. Boring, 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 boring. It doesn't do anything for me. Three stars. Let's go to another Kappa team, Fiorentina. Fiorentina switched over from Le Coq Sportif to Kappa, which as we will see means first and foremost one thing. We won't have four away jerseys anymore. So we have only three Fiorentina jerseys instead of five to deal with in this video. Um, I don't want to call this a relief but because I really like the idea behind it, but uh, it's more re reasonable to me. At first, and the other thing that we have to see here, the sponsor. Note the color of the sponsor. It is white 
Mediacom on the purple. It fits really nicely in, which uh, we will see uh, in part um, three or it's, it's, no, it's already in this video when we have Napoli. You don't have any box sponsors anymore in Serie A. This is not allowed anymore. You need to have just the lettering, which is a good thing. Now, um, I would have done the rule a little bit further. The sponsor cannot add a new color, which fortunately in this case it doesn't do. But just note this for now. I think a jersey looks over really, really nice. I just find the sleeve cuffs are a little bit too thick. But other than that, this is about as good a Fiorentino jersey as you'll find overall. Does it beat maybe this one with the folletto? Uh, there, I like that there's a little bit red there in there. It could use a touch, just a, a little touch of red. Put a little bit of red on the sleeve cuffs instead of having all white, white and red. That it doesn't need, need need more or this last purple outline on, on the color make it red. I think this would make it even greater. But this is a really really nice nine star jersey. The away jersey actually actually when I saw it in game uh, also looks nice uh, at first. But when I look at it here, why is the sponsor suddenly full color? Why? Here the sponsor should be purple. And same thing goes for the sleeve patch. Uh, it makes a really decent jersey. I even like the piping here and the underarms in, in, in purple. It uh, gives it a certain structure, certain feel to it, but then you pop that sponsor on there and it ruins it. Yeah, ruin is maybe too strong, but I really don't like the, the sun lit. And I don't, I don't even mind the um, fiery colors, orange and yellow. I really mind the blue because this should be purple. And no matter what to do here, here in the sleeve, seven stars. The third jersey, see, the sponsor can be here in red. Makes a whole lot more sense. Uh, not so happy about the monochromatic crest, but very happy about this style. A super strong look. Uh, this jersey, and now uh, unpopular opinion, I think is better than any of the alternates that they used to have. Although I really like the idea of highlighting the four traditional quarters of Florence. But this jersey, directly referring to the cold of arms with the cross, is gorgeous. Uh, and you know, a cross is always a strong look. And I know I don't have any cross shirts, um, so need to work on that one. Uh, I'm also... And here the sleeve cuffs don't bother me, I, I, actually, because you have this strong look. Um, I think this is on par with the home jersey. It is just not perfect enough to give it 10, but I'm going to give this 9 stars as well. Really great jersey here. Let me go to Inter. <laughs> uh, Inter has been treating us for the last few seasons with a whole array of mixing up the classically black and blue stripes. Can we just go back to this? Now, in fairness, I like this better than the stripes that looked almost like barcodes. I like this better than what they did last year. I, last year's colors I like. didn't like the color and I didn't like the completely messed panel. So, in game it looks like an inter jersey. I also understand the zigzag pen is not only a reference to the 10-11 jersey uh, where they had all the <laughs> uh, logos on there from the Scudetto to the Cocarda to the Club World Cup. They didn't even know where to put stuff anymore. Um, so that's a probably a reference to it, but most importantly it's a reference to the grass snake which is a symbol of Milan, that's the symbol that uh, Inter uses um, for Milan, where uh, Milan more goes for uh, the cross in uh, the iconography of Milan. It's controversial. The best thing I can say about it, it doesn't ruin the classic Inter look, but it's not something that I would like to see repeated as a one-off. I think it's fine. I even like that they went for the um, more decent Nike collar, you know, where that you just have to dip here on the back, although they really... Sh why is it there? But it doesn't look all that bad. It, it is Inter. It is definitely Inter when you look at it, and it has also the, uh, the right width. Um, but it doesn't excite me. 
it is not one integer that I say I need to have this one. The one that I, you know, Milan fan, yes, but the one jersey that I would like to have for Inter is exactly this width of stripes but straight. Then this would immediately enter, yes, this is something I need to get, but Inter has not been issuing that uh, for four or five years now. So, what gives? Um, where should I go with that? I mean, innovation, yes, and you know, I like the United away jersey, so I am not uh, totally against it. Um, it just doesn't excite me enough. I know what they want to do. I think they're achieving what they want to do. But on the other side, if you want to do a snaky look, wavy, but that might be even too much. I don't, I don't know. Let's take the cop out six stars for this one. But Inter has also a real fear of messing it all up. This away jersey. Big pause. <laughs> Someone was approving this look. Uh, it's the tic tac toe jersey. That's what I call it. I know they want to make this. This is this looks like a gold net. Prison bars is what comes to mind. Tic tac toe, you can play on there. Uh, the only smart thing is how you can house the sponsor in this one and name and number. That okay, that was worth the try, but everything else is just horrible. Either go horizontal. Horizontal or vertically, but don't do both. It just looks ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. If this was all horizontal bars, I actually would think very highly of this jersey, despite the weird uh, neck there with the fold over. But this way, it's just ridiculous. I think it's my first one star of the season. You cannot do that. At least they redeemed themselves with the third jersey, uh, which is a clear reference to the 97-98 third jersey. It was also grey uh, and uh, black hoops. Um, full disclaimer, I was never a big fan. I never understood why they played in the UEFA Cup final. I saw it, yeah, it is kind of the Inter, but Inter is striped and not hooped. Uh, the jersey probably, thanks to Ronaldo, has entered the performance, especially in the UEFA Cup final, has entered the pantheon of most thought after, sought after, not thought of, sought after jerseys ever. But I personally never was a huge fan of it. But I have to say, for a third jersey, this one works really nice. And this is a really nice indication. First, first of all, you take the club's colors. You have black, and you add the blue on there, you pay reference to a um, reverence, reference, whatever, uh, to a classic jer jersey, and you just add a smidgen of gray. I mean, I'm not a fan of gray, but I have to say here, this looks really nice. This is one of the better, if not the best third jersey that Nike is delivering this season, and I really love the, how they have the blue and the black on the collar. Uh, this is great. Um, just the gray prevents me from really dishing out the high, but this is a great jer jer jersey, uh, even to the point where I say, yeah, I might want to get this one despite me being a Milan fan, but I think everything here fits together, even if there are four colors, but you know, since the, there's a dark gray and a light gray or black and gray, uh, doesn't look all that bad. And I'm going to give this nine stars. This is really well done in the, uh, lots of credit to you. Napoli. Remember what I said about the box before? Lette, well, should have done it this way. Lette was a white in a red box. The box is gone. Yay! Looks immediately better. However, what is the problem here? It's the red on blue when there should be white. That's a problem here. I don't get it. This was your opportunity, Lette. Because actually, if you make it white, you can read it even better than uh, the red on the blue. You can read it a lot better. Just squint a little bit. What pops out? It's the MSC because there's the contrast. Con the red and blue does not provide enough contrast. Um, you have the Cocada for winning the um, uh, Coppa Italia, which I realize was usually with the green around, now it's with the red around, and I wonder why. Um, it's again another Kappa jersey. We have seen many in this video already. Uh, 
similar template, I just wonder, you know, you could have gone the Fiorentina way with having a white. I don't get the dark blue ref uh, here. And then especially on the color on the inside, that, that looks just plain weird. Uh, so I really would have wished either a very unified look or really go with um, white here and you have your classic uh, Napoli jersey and if you put the uh, sponsor in white it would, would be bad. This way I have, have to say it's a rather messy jersey where you know it right down the middle. I, I, I didn't like, I like the color for that. Uh, I'm not so crazy honestly about this jersey either. Uh, it's a Champions League version so that's why you have only one sponsor here with the red box but at least it is all in one color, has a little bit gold on there, makes it nice. This one is a little bit too messy, there's too much going on, uh, too many colors, it's not your classic nice Napoli look. Five stars, I would say. The away jersey I understand even less. Why can Napoli just have a white jersey? No, we have now the color du jour from last season. Uh, last season we had earthy green, now we have light minty green with dark green, so forest green or, or whatever. I don't get it. I really don't get it. Uh, and then you add a little bit of the club's colors on there. This is, is a mess. Now Napoli can do so much better. I give this two stars. And then the third jersey. This one right again. Red letter. If the letter was pink, we may be talking. It could be even light blue. Uh, here again, too many colors. You have pink, you have dark blue or black, I think it's black, uh, and then you have light blue as well. And then you have white and you have red. Huh. Just... The Napoli jersey is one that you have to really try hard to mess it up, mess it up, they do here. Uh, I, it's a bit better than the lime green, so I give this three stars, but it's not a great look. Napoli, disappointing this season. No disappointment when it comes to Sampdoria, or oh, a little bit. This is the first Macron jersey for Sampdoria, uh, and hopes were high. And I have to say, um, overall, yes, but it's a little bit too plain. Hey, this here under the sleeves doesn't look good. The crest, maybe misplaced, but you know, if you have no sponsor, that's fine. There is glaringly enough almost room for a sponsor here that is not yet there. The chest pad is maybe city. It feels a little low, but I, I'm willing to let this go. But what is really, really missing? Note what this jersey had. We have the clear the Sampdoria pattern on the collar. It's a little bit here, and then the collar is plain. Here you need this. You need this pattern to give it a little bit more pro prominence. It's not a bad jersey, but it's not a 10 and it's not a 9 star. I think it is uh, with the here there. I'm actually thinking. There I said, this is a boring Sampdoria jersey. I'm gonna give this six stars. I'm very happy though with the away jersey. This is such a, this is such an iconic look. I'm so happy to have this back. Have, have you seen last year's uh, Sampdoria jersey? It was awful. Beautiful. Yes, I don't need this here. But other than beautiful, nine stars. This is mwah. just revel in it. This is you look at it and it just it's it's right except for this here. Everything else perfect. Color you have a little bit in there, but the pattern just breathes. Wonderful. Uh, and the third jersey is basically the home jersey in black. Well, you know, takes both of them. Uh, not sure where I should go with that one. Um, let's go down the middle. Um, again, the blue here bothers me and the color is just off. That's just something off with the color. Uh, that's why I'm gonna go. Um, I like it actually a little bit better than the home, home jersey. Seven stars. They messed with the Sampdoria jersey a little bit, at least for my, you know, it's just little things, but this is so iconic, you need to put this on there, my opinion. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the jersey in the video, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and I will talk to you soon, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. 
Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get an update whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, wish you a wonderful day. Bye.